The city of Harbor Beach is a close-knit community nestled along the shores of Lake Huron and Michigan's Thumb. It's a city of roughly 1,700 year-round citizens and operates its own regional water treatment plant, wastewater, DPW, police and fire departments, ambulance service, five parks, a campground, lighthouse, and 114 slip marina. With its motto being, the world's greatest man-made harbor, which is a mile long by a mile wide, the waterfront is the front door to Harbor Beach. During the summertime, Harbor Beach sees its population double, if not triple, and access to the water is critical. In late 2012, a strange occurrence happened across the entire Great Lakes. Harbor Beach and many other harbor towns were facing water levels at its lowest point since 1964. It was to a point where of the 114 slips at the city-owned marina, approximately 12 slips on a good day were usable. Even a shallow hauled fishing boat would have run aground. The average depth in the marina was roughly two feet. The 24-person U.S. Coast Guard station, located in Harbor Beach and based in its marina, was practically helpless. In early 2013, Governor Rick Snyder in the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and Waterways made grant money available for dredging purposes across the state. The city of Harbor Beach was fortunate enough to be awarded a grant for over a half a million dollars, or to be exact, 558000 $696.46. With funding being a non-issue, further problems came to be. Word from U.S. Congresswoman Candace Miller's office was that this would be the last time dredging funds would become available. Dredging companies were in high demand, at an inflated price, and the city of Harbor Beach needed a solution immediately. City Hall did extensive legwork and research with findings that community leaders feared that due to contractor schedules, the marina would not be able to open for the 2013 season. So the city of Harbor Beach did the unthinkable. They bought a barge, a hydro unit, a 40 yard dumpster, and three dump trucks. They would dredge the marina themselves. And suddenly, the city of Harbor Beach was in the dredging business. With no time to spare, the 24 by 48 gunmetal gray barge was delivered from Illinois. The dump trucks arrived, and together they would learn on the spot of how to dredge. Within the first three weeks of the 2013 boating season, they were able to dig out the critical areas and have the marina up and running. It turns out that dredging is a simple concept. The excavator pulls the barge into position, lowers the spuds to stay in place, and transfers the sediment from the lake bed into the dumpster until full, and then back to shore to unload. The DEQ found that the sediment contained traces of heavy metals, so the project could not do what the Army Corps of Engineers do, take it out to the middle of the lake and dump it. The city of Harbor Beach was forced to create a DEQ-approved dump site, roughly a mile away, haul the material via dump trucks, and then environmentally cap the site when finished. All of this was completed with a crew of two to three, one actually digging and others driving the material to the dump site. By utilizing already employed DPW crews to man the rig, a cost savings was created. Harbor Beach also employed some part-time employees from the Road Commission to expedite the process and allow for more dredging hours in a day. A webcam is located at the marina and once dredging began, viewing hits skyrocketed, with people even watching from North Carolina, various parts of New England, and even California. The dredging permit and grant allowed for the removal of 20,000 cubic yards of sediment in the marina and channel, or roughly 56 million pounds of material. In more manageable terms, that's three times the weight of the largest cruise ship in the world, the Allure of the Seas. All of this would be completed in the 2013 boating season, with some maintenance dredging in the year to follow. When all said and done, the dredging project would save the state and city time, money, and an overall cost savings. Using the grant money received, 
Harbor Beach was able to purchase everything needed to cover wages and properly cap the dump site. The final project cost is said to be seventy to eighty thousand dollars under budget. Some other bonuses: the twenty-four by forty-eight barge can be and is used for marina maintenance. The dump trucks and a Komatsu 120 extendable hydro hoe have been utilized throughout the city on various construction projects. And the dredging permit allows for maintenance dredging through 2018, nearly eliminating the chance to be in the same marina closing situation again. So as a recap, the city of Harbor Beach, through innovation and quick thinking, was able to dredge on demand in for the next five years. Larger boats and even 100-foot yachts are now able to make it into the marina without the fear of running aground. Marine traffic and revenue increase because of immediate deeper water levels. The city now has additional tools and resources that will be used for projects throughout Harbor Beach. 14 months were cut off the project completion date. When the time comes and the need to dredge in 10 to 15 years arises, they are ready. The marina did not have to be shut down for a boating season, creating a loss in revenue and closing the front door to the city of Harbor Beach. The project was able to save the state of Michigan roughly $70,000 by self-dredging. And most notably, local jobs were created for local people. This is the city of Harbor Beach.